Hi folks, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fold a paper airplane, which is really good for distance. So the first thing you're going to do is fold it in half the long way. And I'm using um, A4 size paper, which is the normal printer paper size. So first you're going to fold it that way. And now this is going to be a hard fold. You're going to fold it from this corner right where my finger is, starting a fold all the way to here. And so what I do to make it easier is just start a little fingers um, fold on the corner and then you angle it to this corner where on this corner too you can do a little a little finger fold and then you just align these kind of together and then you just flatten this and then we have the one side and to make your paper airplane so the wings are flat together so one is not up and then the other is low is instead of folding it just another starting again when you just go from this corner to here instead it's better to just make sure that this point goes exactly on this fold over here so this point we're just going to try aligning this side to right here that. There, now we have that. Now what we're gonna do is make it so that fold that we did is so this little point is on our bottom left. Now we're gonna fold this little flap, just the one, not the other one. We're gonna fold it so this edge along this edge. So then there's that little point. Now we can fold, so now the fold that we just did is right here. Now we're gonna try taking this bottom edge again and fold it to that same line. But it's bad if you go like this and then this fold moves up that we did. So you're gonna try to, with your other fingers, hold that down in place. It's okay if it's a little bit off, but try to do it as best as you can. And so you fold it to that corner. Make sure that little fold is underneath it, and then you can do that fold. Now there should always be a bit of a gap in between these. Like right here, you can see there's a little gap where I folded that. Now we're gonna do that same thing, but on the other side, where we, so this is a corner. We're gonna fold this here again, that same fold. So right to the corner into there now i have that fold now we're going to take this edge again and we're going to fold it to this top edge so starting from the corner or you can start from here you're going to try folding it exactly to the corner well as best as you can and holding your finger down keep that fold down there now we have both those sides so now what we're going to do is we're going to unfold all that. And now we're gonna first fold this back up, that little first fold, the second one back up, and the third one back up. It should get a little puffy because you're kind of refolding over those where there's a little bit of a gap where the tip goes a bit over to the fold. That's fine, you just wanna keep it flattened. And now we're gonna do that same thing over here unfold it now do this first point now we fold that now do the second one it's a little bit bumpy that's fine now the last one where it goes up now it doesn't have to be perfect just as best as you can now we have that now we can try making the body of the plane so now what you want to do is make sure that you have it where the top corners are just two flaps not this side where there's these just this side now we're going to open it up keeping these down so then the point is on the bottom now we're going to fold this point
point to the very middle top. There should be a very faint crease that we did at the very first fold. You cannot see it in here, but it's right there. And now you can fold this point right to there. There's that. Now what we're going to do is fold this bottom edge. It'll get a bit, a bit hard to do this fold because it's a lot of layers of paper. But we're gonna try folding this tiny distance up. So about one centimeter. Now, and now there's a line here on the bottom that we're gonna try making that go against this line in between here going up we're gonna try matching that so that fold that we did will be even on all the sides i think that's about even now we can do fold this now that should be folded enough now we unfold that and this is a point here we're gonna fold this to that fold that we just did a very small fold right to there this is what's gonna hold the body together. So a little fold right there against to the line. Now, same as on this corner, we're gonna fold this to this line. So we fold it right there. It's very thick to fold it on, but there it is. And now we can, keeping these little points up, you can fold this back down, going over it by a tiny bit. And now this is the body of it. See, these little points are holding this. Now, we can, what we can do is we can flip this over and we can push this together. Oh, sorry, wrong way. Instead of, so we can still, so this was it. We're still gonna flip it over, but instead of folding them like that, we are going to fold it like that. I forgot. There. There should all, already be a fold there. You're just remaking that the other way. So now, this is going to be an even thicker part to fold the wings down, but you can do as best as you can. So this edge right here, it has two, a little pocket in the center. We're going to fold that to this edge, and that should make one one wing. We're gonna try folding this. It's very thick. Now you don't wanna make this top part go against the line because this goes out here. That's why the wings look very cool. I prefer this plain because the wings look very cool. And now we fold that part too. This isn't even puffed, folded down enough. It's fine, very thick. And now we're gonna flip it over and do the last wing. And same thing as at the beginning fold, instead of folding the tip right to the edge, just so our wings are the same distance away, so like they're exactly flat, so then the wind can make it go farther. We're just, instead of folding it to that edge, we're just gonna fold this bottom edge. So we're just gonna make sure it folds to that wing. So we're just gonna hold this down and we're gonna start it at the same place over there and make sure it's at the same spot. Same thing over here. And my little point. Wow, very puffy fold there. And now up here too. There. And we just have two little small folds, so you can do it like this if you want for the plane. And these wings look very cool. But if you want to make it so it stays in the, I mean, can slice through the wind easier, what you're going to do is first fold those back. We're going to make a little fold going up like right here so then in the wind it will have these little points up so this is very hard to do so what i do is i make sure this is flat 
and then I kind of estimate what a flat fold is, like centered, not like angled, it should be flat. So then in the wind, it. so I think that's about good. And now you're just gonna fold that. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's good. Up to the top. Now to make sure this one is the exact same so I won't go turning in the air. We're just gonna keep those folds down and with this edge that we just folded going down, we're gonna fold this last point to that edge that we did. That little fold that we did. There. And we are finally done. Now you can just make those go up. See, mine aren't even that angled. That's fine. The wind will still make it go. It will still go fast, faster. And now I'll make this one go up. And just to make sure it stays in the air easier. See, these folds are angled down. You want to make this going up, kind of like that. You just want to like, kind of bend this up. And then this, you can go like that. Make sure, so then it will fly easier in the wind. That is a very good way to make it. Now, this is the plane. Thanks.